everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Um, this is one of my mixed up moments. I just thought I'd start um, recording while I'm in the middle um, of doing it. I always find that's a bit easier um, than starting something from scratch. I earlier today put a video up on Facebook of some bits and pieces that I purchased. And these are the things that I, some of the things I got. And these are all self-adhesives. They're already stuck um, on the back and you can just see a bit closely here um, these are like padded almost quilted sheets metallic ones so I've got silver black white and this pink one here which I've been playing around with already they were the only colors that I saw that they had there so I grabbed one of each one and then these so this one so those three, leave that one, and that colour. So these four, these are again, it's hard to see, but if I just um, focus in a bit there. So it's got like a black netting on top. Now I didn't really realise that when I purchased it. Um, and actually that has been a bit of an issue running it through the dye machine. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually peel that off, but it would cut through. So I'm just going to show you one of the things I've done was this here. So I did manage to, to cut it through, but I had to trim all the black bits of thread. So it was a bit fiddly. So um, if you're doing really, really, um, if you've got into in really detailed, intricate dyes, then this is definitely a no-no. Don't use it for that. But this was the kind of simple sentiment that I had. If you're doing, say, like a plain circle die cut or shapes, then I guess it would be completely fine with them you might have to just trim the edges but I found that really fiddly so these are still lovely and I'm still going to use them for just bigger block pieces or just cutting it or um, putting it through the um, a trimmer um, then then they're still really great and they're so shimmery these were all 99p each from a place called biology which is an independent place um, they're not a chain or anything like that but the brand that these are by, which is simply creative or something like that, are sold in the pound shop and in the works, and the works do have their online shop. So have a little look on there, and um, and you might be successful. Hopefully you are successful, and you can purchase um, those as well. But I highly recommend them. They're super sticky. This one here, the padded quilted one, doesn't die cut at all. I tried everything. I put paper on top. I tried my mini baby blue and then I tried the big shot and none of it was working. And the one to show you, all it kept doing was embossing. And you can see there I tried to cut a heart out and all it's done is embossed. Excuse my nails. I said this earlier, they're terrible and I'm getting them done later. So um, just ignore that. But um, yeah, just really not very good. But again, will look lovely as maybe a border or, um, you know, uh, if you run it through your trimmer and stuff, you can get some um, nice straight lines and do some squares and things like that. So still, still recommend buying them. But the best ones, oh, absolutely love them, are these. And they are, again, so, so shimmery. The gold is brilliant really 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 love them um, and these went through the die cut pretty good I did have to put paper on top just for that added pressure but they cut through fine I didn't have any problems I am using um, the stamping up um, these ones here I can't remember the name of what they're called so they are good dies Sizzix dies um, just focus back in there and um, so I you know I would say make sure you've got the better dies However, I did cut this one through and um, and it was okay. And this was a, a tattered lace. Happy birthday, this one is. Um, so again, obviously it is a, a good brand in that sense. But I've got some cheaper ones and I think they'd be okay as well. So, But just play around. I think you do need the better dies just to cut through it. So I just thought I'd show you um, one while I'm here. So I'm just going to... Cut this piece of paper down roughly. I just line that up and I can show you all the other ones that I've done. But I've had a real, real fun afternoon just kind of playing around and doing really, really simple, um, simple little card toppers, really. Um, so I haven't attached any of them to actual cards, I'm just keeping them, um, and then people can just decide which ones they like and then I can mount them onto a card for them 
and make the envelopes at a nearer time. Just saves on space that way as well. Um, just a bit easier. Just check I've cut properly there. Yep, yeah, that would be fine. So this paper stack, I also purchased two of these for 99p from the works, and they're really, really pretty. The rose is there, a lovely. Um, just got a nice like, watercolour effect. Some more roses. It's not double-sided, but it's perfect if you're just sticking it down. That's really pretty. Again, watercolour. A bit more basic there. Another background. Oh, that's the rose again. Those petals are lovely. There's three of each design. That's another nice like watercolour one. That's the last one. Yeah. So probably what maybe 25 sheets, but for 99p, perfect. And with those, I have done. So that one there, I showed you, which is nice. That can be mounted, ready to go on a card. Then I done that one with the rose. Let's focus back in here. Really, really pretty. This one I love. The congrats with that rose background is really pretty. And that's with these stamping up um, scribs, uh, scribbles. I think that's what it is, the scribble um, uh, dies. And then this one here is really nice as well. It's just so pretty against that background. So again, they look really nice um, as little note cards. So I am using now this one and I'm going to run it through the gold because I want to do a gold... What one did I want to do? The gold happy birthday. I want to do that one again on this one because they're the most popular um, ones. So let me grab happy birthday, move all these. I've got lots of other dies that I'm playing around with as well. Um, right, it's got my baby blue and where did I put my plates? Can you see my plates? Where are my plates? Oh, uh, oh there they are. Move them out of the way. I forgot where I put them. Right, so let's just leave that to one side. I'm just going to measure it up. I always just cut off enough rather than... And then I can put it through the little... My baby blue. Um, and that way you... I don't know, I just feel like I don't waste it. So I'm just going to use that and then grab a piece of scrap. had to use put a new plate on as well I've just replaced it because it it was bowing really badly and I'd already put it on the reverse and done all the things that they say you should do and then I thought no actually I think it's come to the time now when I have to just get rid of it so you can hear it crunching through all of that glitter um yeah so I thought actually I think now I just need to get rid of the uh, the plate so I have a nice new top plate so when you lift it if you turn it over you can see it will not go through the plastic because it's a really thick acetate it will not go through that so don't expect it to you just want it to to cut through that kind of top layer but I'm going to run it through a few more times just to make sure that it is really let's check it's not just fallen out of place there I thought it had it's wobbling everywhere because it's usually stuck on the glass but just because I'm doing the video I've uh, got my paper stacked down okay and it should start peeling you can see there, just make sure it's focus. Yeah. Um, now you do have to. There are sometimes bits that obviously haven't completely come away, and you might need to get your snips on that just to help it along a little bit. And it's just a matter of lifting it out like so. it too much because it might stretch so I can just get that bit out right so that's the oh, the basic bit there you can see it's kind of coming together now keep this still because you've got enough room now I've got some tiny little like heart um, little punches and I used it to punch out the little heart above the congrats there so again you know if you've got I've got a tiny little plastic drawer with really tiny scraps just of these bits because things like this are like gold dust 
literally gold dust because uh, they're so pretty you don't want to throw them away so all I've done then is just obviously because it's really sticky is just get your pokey tool just to get out the um, little bits in between so you can start to see the letters coming together there so just spend a bit of time getting out all those fiddly oh, it's so nice to hear people mowing the lawn I don't know what it is about hearing the grass being cut but it's a real sign and sound of spring so it's the first it's the Monday so it's the first proper um, full day longer day because we've got that extra hour um, and it's nice just hearing people cutting their grass. Okay, oh, I don't want to pull that bit. So sometimes there's a, there are some stubborn bits, but I've cut it through the congrats and it was fine. It just kind of cut through like butter, so it's, it isn't like this on all of them, but I just wanted this happy birthday one, because I really like this little, little die. I'll do the D. But because it's sequins, it's made up of lots and lots of sequins, obviously cutting through them all can be... Uh, Quite a lot for some of these dies so and I'm sure if you ask any of the manufacturers that make these dies they're always saying no 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 you shouldn't use it for those so I'm not criticizing any dies because I know this isn't really what they're made for I think the woman when I brought all these to the till you know some people just look at you a bit oddly when they see what you're buying because I guess it is a bit of a weird thing to buy in the quantity that I did um, along with other craft I mean again if you do check out my Facebook mixed up craft and you'll see the video of the stuff I purchased because they you know some people probably look at it and think what the hell is she going to do with all of that ah well wouldn't you like to know this is what I'm doing right just got that one last one there and I think that is all of it right so grab my piece of DSP you can lie this on top I mean it's sticky but it's it's it's, it's like tacky so it's enough for you to move it around just to make sure you've got it just move it up a bit got it central into that paper How does that look? I think that's okay. Maybe there. There we go. And then just start from the middle and work your way out. And you can see the really, really nice effect and really, really simple. I'm just going to stick that down and I like making all these I call them my plates so I make up lots and lots of plates and and then people can just choose the plate and then I can it's almost like a bit of a mix and match you know choose what color card you want it to go on and uh, so on so and it's just a bit easier that way I think Although I do make I do make the full card still as well. It's not like I don't do them. Okay, just line that up. And there we go. Nice and simple. Really pretty. Very feminine. Very girly. And I think they are lovely. Love, love, love. So there you have it. Just little little tip. Um, I'll try and see if I can find the um, any of these online and I'll share the links um, on my blog and in the description below um, because they are great and for 99p um, let me just quickly measure the whole of the so the sheet is uh, just under 10 inches by four inches so it's a really nice sheet and again that would look really nice on top of a strong piece of card um, and then you could have a nice box 
with that as well. It's really, you know, it's really um, workable. So there you go. Just a quick one from me. I um, hope you like it. And um, please subscribe to the channel to see more. Thank you. Bye.